Recently, Kuro Games released a poster for the version 1.1 of Wuthering Waves Saw of Eons that will be arriving on June 28th. I'm behind this news, but again, the audience would like to know my reaction and my thoughts about this, so uh, yeah, this is fine. And this one right here, literally straight out from a movie. Do you guys think that Genshin can compete when it comes to poster art like this? I don't think so, and I highly doubt they're gonna do it. Pretty sure they're gonna do their own fashion way when it comes to poster arts that only immature kids and adults can understand on the fucking kids game. Now, competition aside, this is where we got to see two new characters that already teased before the launch of the game uh, a few weeks ago. This is Chang Li and Jin Se, and we also got the dragon named Ju Wei, Jin Se's companion. And according to this tweet again from Wuthering Waves, that these new echoes will be added on a new region, Mount Firmament. We also get to see Rover and his or her lovely companion who saved us from Dreamless Final Blow at the end of Act 6. And the majority might say that this is going to be Paimon on Wuthering Waves. I don't think that's going to happen, buddy. The only thing that this furry can do is to suck, suck, and suck. Pretty much this furry can do is to consume echoes like a buffet at a Chinese restaurant that has low security and low maintenance that only a peasant can afford it. Satirically. Now, Wuthering Waves also made another tweet, again, which revealed two signature weapons that was once leaked a few weeks ago. One is a sword type for Chang Li, while the other one is a broad sword type for Jin Se. A companion story will also be released specifically for Chang Li on the first half, and my guess is that we can have a companion story of Jin Se on the second half a bit. We'll see once it comes out. With the inclusion of their recent developer notes a couple days back, they added some quality of life changes to the game. Like you can synthesize the purple tuners and change it into gold one so that you can use to get better substats of an echo that you use on your character. And just a quick note, they raised the cap of data bank, so which means every time you fight these monsters or bosses, you'll get a guaranteed gold echoes instead of purple ones. This one right here, when you turn yourself into an ice cube echo within the region in version 1.1, you're able to catapult yourself towards the ice wall with this trampoline mechanic right here. They also added the multi-layered map system for the new region. So that will give us an easier understanding about the map and could be a potential teaser that there will be a new regions with the same added system in the game very soon. At the same time, it won't confuse us, so that's a big thumbs up for all of us. They also made changes to the dailies, which is basically once we reach 100 activity points, we'll get echoes costing around 3 or 4, which is easier for new players to collect. But you can either get a blue, purple, or gold one. It all depends on your union level and data bank level. I mean, to be honest, this is actually stupid. You could just keep farming on the overworld, but I mean, it all comes down to your preferences. Other optimizations, including the animation part after you clear the tacit field grind, which is a hindrance, but good thing they removed it on version 1.1. The credit cost for echo leveling will be lowered, and as for other things, the cruise wing challenge will be nerfed. Basically, the speed will slow down in exchange the time limit will increase to make the challenge more manageable, as it's stated here on the developer note. Now, as for events and rewards, in one of the end game modes, Depths of Elusive Realms new event, new mechanics are added, so yeah, go crazy as usual, and honestly, it was fun. Plus, they'll increase the total event rewards to a thousand asteroids, almost nearing for its temple. There are also two new events specifically for their new region release, Mount Firmament, on version 1.1. And as usual, you'll get the same rewards from before and earned up to 800 asteroids and some currencies for leveling and enhancement to your character and echoes. The 7 day login event also made return on version 1.1 and many events and rewards. In the convenience section, you're able to redeem up to 7 of the following summon items like Radiant Tides, Forging Tides, and Lustrous Tides in the store. Another point that they add in the developer's note is the controller support has been optimized based on varied devices. I'm not into controller though sadly, but maybe one day I'll try it out soon once I had one. Hoping they're going to optimize the camera settings including the lock-in system which is not included in the developer's note. And even though there is improvements to mobile devices, including mine, but again, it needs more optimization even on low-end devices who's on par with minimum specs. Now, one thing that piques my interest while reading this developer notes is the combat style tags, which is new for other players. 
but for veterans who also encountered this kind of system yeah they'll, they'll get used to it they're probably they're probably gonna make a guide for that one for sure you can filter out which of these characters had a tag that was checked and then do a full experimentation on your team composition and again go crazy as usual now i'm not sure if they're gonna release a live stream for the version 1.1 but again we all remember what happened last month's live stream before it launched and it was awfully bad hoping on the version 1.1 live stream won't add up the same thing that happened last month and as for trailer we'll see before the 28th and i'm gonna keep making content out of it even if it had to do with competition but what do you think of this overall overview for the version 1.1 of ordering waves let me know in the comment section below and i'd love to have a discussion with you anyways thank you all so much guys for watching and if this video piques your interest and find it informative and valuable feel free to hit the like button and also if you, i'm currently on a campaign to reach 5,000 subscribers feel free to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you won't miss any uploads and future live streams and i also have my own discord server so feel free to join or not but again it all comes down to your choice and i'm not gonna force you on that one that is all take care stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next video goodbye